Melissa. You might have seen the new YWCA on University. You know that building that used to be the Kmart? Well, today, Housing and Urban Development recognized it as an Envision Center. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski spoke to the YWCA and some partners to find out about this recognition. Brenda, just how important is this? Lubbock's Envision Center is one of 60 in the entire United States. Ms. Mathis, the CEO of the YWCA, says it'll offer families a quick and convenient way to get resources. I grew up here in Lubbock, so I remember it being the Kmart building. Patria Farrell talks about the memories of what is now the YWCA building off 62nd and University. She's a single mother of three and was able to get a job as a teacher when it opened in August. There was a time where I was out of work for a tad bit and it did concern me. But she says she knew she had to keep going. There were times where I thought about giving up, you know, and just quitting school, but I kept my faith in God and I know that I'm here you know, at this place for a reason. And now she and her children have a place to work and learn. And it's about to get even better. Housing and Urban Development just dubbed it an Envision Center, a place that Glenda Mathis, the CEO of YWCA, says will offer resources to community members, such as education, financial help, health care, and more. I think when we designed this building, our hope was that we could turn an abandoned eyesore into something that was beautiful and welcoming and a place of joy and hope. This ought to be a good place for families to get together, watch their children play, have a meal, just be neighbors. Reggie Dial says his organization, El Robi, which offers apprenticeships for vocational trades, is one of the organizations that will be housed at the Envision Center. With the Envision Center, we are able to have access to classrooms. With the classrooms, which is so, so important, that's the place that we're able to hold our financial literacy classes. And during the pandemic, Patria offers some advice for those facing hard times. Yes, it's been hard. It's been a struggle, but I know that God has a purpose for all of us, a positive purpose for all of us, and we just, we got to keep faith and just keep going and, you know, we'll get there. That's a great message. Now, Ms. Mathis says Covenant Health will be moving in by the end of this month to help provide wellness checks. Terry?